Hi, good afternoon. I'm Michael Petrini. I'm a senior sales engineer with Scala Motion. And I'm joined by Sixto Morales. He's one of our regional motion engineers. We're here today because we want to talk to you about a very unique feature that's something we're especially excited about for our new line of HMIs. So the feature we want to talk to you about is specifically our VNC for the Escala HMIs. This gives you a very unique perspective on how to be able to solve very difficult problems, especially today in a world where we're all trying to social distance. So before we begin, I'd like to talk to you about the purpose, process, and payoff of this video. First, we're going to provide you an overview of the VNC viewer. Next, we're going to discuss the VNC viewer itself and how it benefits users. And finally, we're going to provide you a quick demonstration. By the end of this video, we're hoping you'll have a better understanding of the VNC viewer and how to implement this feature in your facility. So what is a VNC viewer? A VNC stands for Virtual Network Computing. And in our specific example, it allows us to use the graphical desktop as a sharing system. This gives you the unique ability to be able to remote control another computer that's on the same network as the one you're sitting. So now you can access, control, and monitor everything that you could uh, on the HMI itself. So why are we suggesting to use this? Well, there's a number of benefits associated with using our VNC. First off, there's obviously an environmental advantage. This allows operators to work at a safe distance away from their machinery. This is especially important if there's a situation where there could be stored uh, inertia or potential for someone to get hurt if they're just too close to the machine while they're operating. Efficiency. This also gives operators a unique advantage because now if they're working on the machines remotely, they have the potential to work on multiple machines at one time because they won't have to walk across the floor to do so. Finally, this gives operators the greater advantage because now they're allowed to stay further than, further than six feet apart. And since it is March of 2020 right now, we're all looking for ways to social distance, and this is a great way to do so in your workplace. In order to set up the VNC, you will need three requirements. First, obviously, you're going to need one of our Yaskawa HMIs. Second, you'll need access to the Mobicon 11.6 HMI editor software. This can be downloaded on the yaskawa.com website. And finally, you'll need VNC client software. This is a third party software, and we're going to show you how to download one for your device. Okay, so we've set up a little demo here to show you just how easy it is to activate this feature. Uh, what you're seeing right here is our remote HMI. This could be a, a piece of equipment that's uh, across on the other side of the floor or, or something from where you are. And then this is my monitor just sitting right here in my office. Maybe it has air conditioning, maybe this doesn't, you know, whatever makes it more comfortable for you. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up your Google browser to download the VNC file. Now, all that you really have to type in your viewer is just VNC viewer and click on this very first link right here. To make this simple, I've already opened up this tab with, uh, with that page on it. Uh, as soon as you click this button down here, it's actually going to start downloading that VNC viewer. Once you locate it in your download files, double click on this executable file to start your install. You may need to work with your IT department or with your uh, antivirus software if your system has our time running an executable. From there, the next step is fairly straightforward. You're going to open up your, uh, your VNC clients. You're going to type in and across this address bar here. You're going to type in the IP address for the HMI. In this case, 192.168.1.6. And press enter. You'll be prompted for a password here. The password is just VIPA TP. E I P A T P. 
and hit OK. And you'll notice right away, we have uh, the exact screen that we're seeing on our HMI uh, above in this camera mimicked right here. So now anything that you can do uh, in front of the machine on the HMI, you can also accomplish here through the VNC. So I'll start by clicking some of these buttons down here. You'll notice uh, the HMI changes, as does our screen here on the VNC itself. I'll just cycle through all these buttons so you can see it. You can activate toggles as well. So if you have buttons on your HMI, like start buttons, stop buttons, et cetera, you can do that. You can also do things like read alarms. Again, basically anything on your HMI screen can be accessed through the VNC as though you're right in front of it. You'll notice Sixto is actually pushing the buttons as well, real life, and it changes on our VNC as well. So that concludes our demo. Um, if you have any other questions about this, please feel free to reach out to your Yaskawa sales engineer. And thank you for your time and have a good rest of your day.